just want to talk about uh, a tool I've been wanting to make for a long, long time. Um, it doesn't look that exciting. It looks a bit like a, a badly made screwdriver. Um, one of the things I've seen people do, and I know I've done it myself over, over time, is use a screwdriver to uh, take the top off a paint tin. Here's our paint tin and often use a screwdriver. Now this works really well. There's our lovely blue paint. So this was made by um, first taking some quarter bright mild steel round bar and I've forged this end into the shape you now it's been repeatedly heated and uh, hammered into shape so get it to a point where it's cherry red red hot onto a um, my makeshift anvil which is a piece of mild steel um, cold drawn hot, hot drawn sorry hot drawn mild steel um, channel I use that as, uh, as I say, as, as my anvil because it's a, a lot cheaper than buying an anvil and it's only a relatively light duty job. Um, I've seen this sort of thing before and probably thinking, well, why did I buy one? Now, the reason for that is, is if you use a, a screwdriver, which I'll just, I'll just find. screwdriver that's the sort of thing that people would normally use and it's a similar design to a, a smaller one of these that I saw in a DIY store but the problem with it is is when you lie it down and after you've taken the top off your paint you might get some paint on the tip you lie it down paint gets transferred onto the surface or if you're careful you put newspaper down you put that down there by the next time you get back to it you've got to clean it up because you've got some newspaper stuck on the end now that's not um, not ideal at all uh, say so that that problem is the same for um, the the shop bought one as well which is only two pound but uh, as I've got a machine shop I decided to make this one and the handle looks like it might be overkill but um I do enjoy making that on the uh, on the lathe. Um, let's check the size of that. Uh, it looks like um, seven eighths, seven eighths hex, and uh, I think that's a thirty degree on there. Both ends. Polish that up. Um, this was drilled, the brass body handle was drilled a quarter and the um, stem or the paddle, whatever we call it, um, that's been uh, soldered in. This is just regular soft solder so that will penetrate into the body by about an inch and then um, that's soldered in and the idea of that is that when you actually put it down, you can't see it from that angle but um, uh, let's just find something to work. Uh, you can actually put that down. So if that's got um, some paint on it, or um, I've been a bit careless with it, when I put that down all the time, it doesn't contact the surface. So um, that's one of the key things. And also the other thing that's handy with this feature is, is when I want to store it on the shelf, I can just do, I can just do that. Which is another thing that I can do. Um, Another thing that I can do when uh, I finish, but the risk the risk with that is that the paint will run down, so that's that's far from 
far from ideal. Now, with a screwdriver, you could use a screwdriver and you could say, well, why don't you just uh, do that when you've finished with it? Well, the issue with that is three or four moves after you've done that, that will happen. And uh, you usually end up getting paint where, uh, where you don't want it. So I just thought I'd, um, I'd share that one, which I did enjoy making. This is a, a hardened tipped and it does work well on tins and it's a nice handle grip as well. So I do like um, working with brass and, uh, and polishing it. So this was um, hand finished, this was filed, filed and polished to get the, uh, get the shape. Alright, thank you very much.